guys work a standard 9 to 5 job and do you think things might not be right? I've been thinking this all morning. Whilst I'm personally on a break right now, I have an office block right there and out of the sight of the camera around there, there's another office block. Now it's very, very early as you can tell, the lighting in this video is not great and the sun's only just coming up. But what I'm already seeing is people queuing up for the buses, the trains and the trams outside down on the street. I'm also seeing people starting to turn on lights in their office buildings. And I do commend people for getting into work this early. It's a real show of dedication. But the thing is, it's Monday. And being in this room up here, you get the full perspective, especially considering that I've seen both ends of it this evening. I've seen people coming back from nights out this evening on Sunday and then it's now rolling into Monday and it's going back to the same working routine. So just about an hour or two ago people were literally still walking back from nights out and now certain people are getting ready for the office. But that begs the question, with a backdrop like this with a whole city to explore and realistically a whole world out there, is the 9 to 5 right? I think there is certainly somebody who it works for, but I think for most people it's something which they just do to get by. But is it really the best solution? In my opinion it is not. And it's a tough thing to face, because from school, from day one, we're told about the 9 to 5. We're told about how we must get a job, we're told about what it means for our future and how it's all we need. But at the moment it seems to be increasingly the opposite to the truth. People are going to work for hours and hours and still barely having enough to pay the bills at the end of the month. At that point the question then is, what is the solution and how does one ultimately solve the problem? The problem being an inability to do what you want. Well I think there's a few things to realise and that's what I've really been spending time doing this week and this weekend. I've been realising what is it that I personally want A from life and B from the next year or two and how can I advance to get to my goals. One thing I realised is the whole system appears to just not be right, it's something which is not set up in your favour. Like I said just a second ago, there's people out there who have just come back from nights out but then there's people getting ready to start their work, the same thing again in the same boring office blocks. So the question is what do you do? In my opinion, the best way to do is the best way to do it is to look at what you want, acknowledge what you want, and then go on to outline how you get there. The first thing that you must do, in my opinion, is outline what kind of lifestyle you want. Loads of people look at the Ferraris, the Lamborghinis, and the flashy cars and all that kind of stuff and say it's what they want. But, on but in reality, is it? Do they want that lifestyle? A lot of people do not. A lot of people just want enough to get by, and especially in this internet age, we're told that that's not the right thing. We're told on the one hand that we should work our 9 to 5 in the real world, and then online we're told that we must have these Ferraris, Lamborghinis and Bugattis to keep up with the rich people. But for most people it doesn't matter, for most people there appears to be a nice middle ground between the high end and what they actually want, in the sense that most people simply want a nice warm place that they can live in, they want to have a car that they can rely on, they want to have food and they don't want to have to worry about their bills. So what kind of lifestyle must you acquire to get there? And what kind of lifestyle must you acquire to get there without losing too much of your time? Because on the one hand money is great, but if you have to sacrifice, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours of your day, how rich are you? Because you don't have any time to yourself, you can't really think for yourself based on what you want to do. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, whilst the lifestyle of being a millionaire, being very rich, is glamorised on the internet, is it overhyped? I personally believe it is because it's not what everybody wants. So the best thing that people can attempt to do in my opinion, and, and what I'm definitely trying to do myself, is to build at least one small business for themselves, preferably two because that is diversified streams of income and if you think about that, two side hustles that are worked on properly are going to be enough in time potentially to subsidise your income through your work. Now what I'm trying to say is, you probably have some free time in your life. If that is the case, 
why do you not use this to start researching into side hustles, to start researching into potential ways to make money online? Because this is what I hear so much. I personally do not work in an office, but I know loads of my friends that do. I say to them, what's it like working in an office? They say, oh, it's boring. We've got this to do. We've got that to do. But... I can sit there and watch Netflix when I've got no calls coming in or no work to do, and I just sit there and I think, mate, this is a problem. You shouldn't really be watching Netflix at work, and I'm not saying that in the sense that, oh, you must work, you must do what is told. I'm saying that in the sense of, if you have free time at work, you're getting paid to do nothing. The best thing you can do in that time is find a way to learn some skills, start Googling stuff online. Before long, you'll have information to attempt a business plan and you may win you may lose you may fail but once you have done this time and time again it's a formula that you will eventually crack and then from there you can go on to diversify your income streams again ideally you want two income streams that would probably a be enough to pay the bills and also b be enough to be a reliable source of income if one stream hits a rough patch or things go wrong or stuff like that so once that's done you'll probably be able to hit a reasonable lifestyle and then on from there the question is where do you go now obviously that is complete personal preference once you've won back your freedom i guess it is ultimately a person's decision where they go but what I'm trying to say is, the world of the 9 to 5 is kind of all wrong, especially nowadays. Like, especially for people who work in offices, this is mainly the people who my videos are focused towards, especially these sorts, because whilst people out there are plumbers, mechanics, these people A, generally enjoy what they do, and B, generally get paid quite well anyway. Whereas office workers are often underpaid, they don't really have much to do and they're quite bored because the job is really quite meaningless. So you have that time, you have that sort of skill set, you know what you're doing with a computer, it's time to get researching. It's time to build those businesses whilst you're working in that spare time. Then from there you can go on to obviously increase your future value for yourself, for your family and also for your peace of mind, for your free time because it's just a lot better. Like right now, I think it's about 6am, I don't have anything to do, and I do feel like it's a bit of a shame for these people that I see, you know, rushing to work. Obviously one day I will probably have to get a job myself, but that's not the point that I'm trying to make. The point is, it feels like with the whole eBay business and all of these concepts that I'm trying, people like me and people like hopefully you guys as well, are starting to crack the code. We understand how it works. We get that this game is something that we can win. And it's not even hard work. It doesn't necessarily require hard work. It requires smart work, I will agree with that. But it doesn't necessarily require hard work. It does though require thinking outside of the box. Because unfortunately, the whole 1940s, 50s, 60s game of work an office job, get a promotion, all that kind of stuff, it just doesn't wash in today's society. But realistically, I think it's something that anybody can crack but you need to get researching, and there's not one set business. You might look into one, it might fail. You might look into a second one, that might fail. But the idea is that after a while, after trying, succeeding, failing, all of this sort of stuff, you will learn, and you will grow. You'll have transferable skills that can help you in your next business endeavor. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this short video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to like the video. More coming at you guys soon. Thank you so much.